And then there were four. Max, Roxy, Jim Jam, and Dr. Bones. On the outside, four normal dogs. In here, the four best poker playing dogs in the world. Hey everybody, welcome to the 2012 K9 World Series of Poker. I'm Gary Andrews. And I'm Lou Roberts, and we have a tremendous event for you here today. Four of the titans of the K9 Poker Circuit. Let's get right to it. The first hand is out. Let's go to the card cam to take a quick look. Max starting off with pocket jacks. Strong hand, Lou. Indeed, and an interesting move by all the players to not look at their cards. Oh, check out Roxy. She's hopped off her chair and is now getting a drink from one of the complimentary bowls. Roxy's been going to that red bowl an awful lot. What do you think's in there? Roxy has a deal with Cristal. She drinks it and they give it to her for free. Too rich for my blood, but boy can Roxy slurp that stuff down. It's quite a deal. How does that benefit them? And we're waiting for Jim Jam to make the first bet. But I tell you what, he seems to be in no rush, smelling things. Is that a tactic that's common practice, Lou? Well, it can be. Getting your opponent to look at you smelling things often will get them off their own cards in their own game. Or he could just be interested in the smells of things. <laughs> he is a dog. <laughs> I've been there. What? How's Dr. Bones' hand looking? Oh, things are not looking good for the good doctor, Lou. We're not getting a lot of game moves out there, but we are getting a lot of panting, drooling, and the occasional barking. Uh, to be fair, that barking was in regards to a loud motorcycle that drove by earlier. It deserved it. Mm-hmm. Max, I'll tell you what, he may be short on skill, but he is a good dog. Oh, and look at him there now. He either wants a new card, or perhaps a treat. <laughs> either way, give it to him! Right? <laughs> Look at him laying down. Oh, and there he pops up. Just when you think you know what he's going to do, he surprises you. A sign of a good poker player. Mm-hmm. And a good woman. Oh. He's jumping up, putting his paws on the table. There's someone who's very invested in the flop. He needs a good card, and he knows it. Give me that flop card. I need an ace. I want to cut the spread. I use an English accent whenever I use his voice. <laughs> Looks like he's eating a treat off the table and walking away. Well, there's a dog well taught by Kenny Rogers. You got to know when to eat your treats and know when to fold them. Interesting note about Jim Jam, Lou. He was rescued from Thailand and brought to America. Lots of dogs in Thailand. Wow, that is interesting. Oh, now look at Jim Jam over there, about to take a nap. Oh man, I'll tell you what, look at that cuddly bed there. I can use a quick 40 winks. Well, we still gotta do this, so let's continue on. Okay. I can't tell, what is Dr. Bones doing right now? He's being frisky. Dr. Bones is a frisky dog. Dr. Bones is clearly in the lead. Yes, the good doctor with his trademark red bandana seems to have control of this match so far. Red as the day is long, Lou. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Didn't know they could see color. Take a look at Roxy over there. She's got three medium-sized stacks of only red chips. That's right, Roxy is sitting at $750 or 15,000 bones depending on the exchange rate. Would you take a look at that? Jim Jam is licking his cards. Gary, that's a clear tell. You can see that he likes his cards and is therefore licking them. Let's see if the other players can pick up on that. <laughs> I do the same thing with women. He does. I'm on probation. Hey, did you notice Roxy's hair? Would you say that's an intimidation tactic? Yeah, the mohawk is there to intimidate your opponent, draw attention to it and away from the cards. Then again, it could be up to her owner as to how her hair is styled and Roxy clearly is just living life second to second. That's what I say about me and my wife. <laughs> Get that. She cuts my hair and styles it and I have no say over it. Oh, then it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, some frustration setting in. She has jumped up on the table and is knocking things over. Yeah, Roxy is clearly a bitch. I can say that because we don't know who her father is. That would be a bastard. And that's it for this week. What a thrilling hand that was, Lou. They almost did something related to poker. <laughs> right, and even more amazingly, only one competitor left us a surprise over in the corner. <laughs> Roxy, we just took you for a walk. <laughs> a brand new carpet and everything. Anyway, live from the East Las Vegas Animal Shelter, it's the 2012 K9 World Series of Poker. We'll see you next time. No begging. <laughs> <laughs> Please.